Hello, my subscribers and other people watching, return viewers. I'd like to welcome you back to a game of Out of Ore. I have continued on this here. And let's see. There we go. Got my fingers right. So let's go into my smelting room here. I'm going to find out what we're smelting and how much we have in here. Okay, we got 90, 99 bars of iron. I'm going to turn around and smelt them into steel. Okay. Let's check this one. Get my view right. Oh, too close to that. Okay, there we go. We're snapping the view here. Sorry about that. Okay, got another iron. I'm gonna turn that iron into steel. Okay. What's in this one? We got more iron. I'm gonna turn that into steel. Okay, we got some copper. Okay, they can grab that copper there. Got some aluminum. And we got some more steel. So I'll grab that steel there. Got one steel. Okay, take that steel and we'll put it into my. mill here. Not gonna make anything at this time, but I'll just go ahead and put that in there. I got some barrels. So I'll grab my barrels out of there. Go and fill those barrels up with some water so we can make some concrete blocks. And down through here. And if you catch my previous video, I did a video based on quality of the visual basically. If you'll take and watch that quick four minute video and weigh in on that and tell me, you know, which one looks a little bit better. Okay. I can produce water, which I'm going to go ahead and produce as much water as I can. Okay. And that'll take like 19 minutes to do so. So by crafting barrels out of iron, you can take and add the water. And once you've got the water, you can come up here to your cement mixer. I have hidden in my room right here. Okay, with that, you can create concrete blocks. And all these concrete blocks, floor, um, what is it called? Champs, whatever. And then concrete corners, then ramps, and, and corner, concrete wall corners, okay? That's what you can create out of that. And you must have to have some cement mix, which I have some. And I'll go through here and collect up all the different things, rubies and diamonds and whatever else I have. And my wash with benches. Okay, I got some more cement. I'm back here, back row. I don't know if I have anything back here or not. I don't think I do. Can't reach that far back one. Okay, so we'll continue on. Okay, add all them to the mixer. 993. And those usually go pretty fast, you know. So I have a total of 5,054 of those. Which when you here's the production of it, you know, it takes like nine bags to create a whole block. It takes two bags there. Four, three, one. So it takes quite a bit of concrete to or cement to make this one cre concrete block. On out of here. And in between videos, I tried to make a video earlier about an hour worth and, and I was able to dig out quite a bit. But the uh, video took and failed. Oh, that's okay. 
It saves you from watching a boring video, I guess, you know? Anyway, I took and cut through here a whole lot more. So I'm digging right through here, basically expanding this outward. Because eventually it's going to come out to round about in here. And it's going to take and this whole open area right here. I'm going to cut this all out so it'll match with this mine somewhere like that. And then eventually I will have it to the depth of this down here. And this depth down here, I'm eventually going to take and change it all the way down to bedrock. Okay, just kind of jump down here. And take and make it smaller. And look at the mine over. And retain. Now we can jump in the end loader. And we can take and continue taking dig even deeper deeper. Okay. Let's continue. Turn the brake off, turn the tractor right. Get my blade where I can actually dig, get it reset to the digging position, and come down this way. Nothing new really has changed. Just a continuation of what it was before in the previous videos. And I'll try to get this dug out as fast as I can, you know? Within reason. off my screen so that's not annoyance. I can take that. Hey, I can take that one off too. Okay, I really don't need them on my screen while I'm digging. I do need to find out how full it is though. So I kind of do need to have that one. I don't want to overfill my bucket, especially when I'm digging in pay dirt. You know, I lose pay dirt that way if I overfill. Dirt not so much worried about, hater I am. That's what I'm doing this, I'm still trying to make money as I'm trying to take off this top level. Go through all the resources in the hopper. And what I'm trying to do is build up enough so I can actually buy a the largest uh largest wheeled wheeled uh truck or wheeled hauler is I guess what they call them I just call it a haul truck I used to drive one and on the game it's a good sunny day not too many clouds not too much fog but you can see the whole map And life updates for me. 21st, I'll be go getting a physical. Um, let's see. On April 4th, I'll be actually going to operation. I might actually be live. You know, do a live video from the hospital while I'm staying there. Explain everything, what's going on. And I'm thinking about actually having a uh, video and what's actually going on with me and everything. So, I don't know, that'd be kind of a personal video. My story is 25th of January, or 25th of December, sorry. Um, I felt really bad and I was kind of discomforted and I'm just having discomfort in my stomach area and stuff like that and it got so bad it got to the point to where I cannot take and keep anything down and so therefore I had to go to the hospital find out what was going on because it wasn't just no normal flu or anything like that and I was hurting and what happened was I went into the hospital and what they did for me was they admitted me I had to go 
to the hospital about an hour away. I can tell you exactly where. Um, from where I live. And was directly admitted to the uh, hospital. And they asked me to drink down the stuff called Go Lightly if you ever drank that. You know, it tastes really nasty. And, and in my condition, I could not keep it down. Could not keep any water down. Couldn't keep any drinks down. Let alone any food or anything. Basically, I had a blockage. And stuff was not going down staying. Um, what has caused this blockage at that time, we didn't know. We just knew that there was a blockage and it wasn't allowing any substances to go through my body. So, therefore, you know, I was in pain and discomfort. By the 27th of December, about a day later, day and a half, 26th, 27th, they stopped fooling around trying to see what was wrong and so they basically put me in the operation room and they took and put in a colostomy to ostomy operation and created a ostomy on the outside of my body and what that is is they basically tapped into my large intestine and pulled it outside and now I have a colostomy on the outside of my stomach, just about half an inch, two inch, into an inch above my uh, belly button. And so basically it's a bag that collects up all my solid waste material and liquid. So basically catch my poop before it goes into my large intestine. Basically it has went somewhat into my large intestine just if you look at a diagram if you're really curious um, top loop that just goes right near just underneath my stomach basically they have cut an opening there and routed to the outside of my body and so I am now wearing a colostomy bag which catches everything else and none of it goes down to my poop shooter so, oh, um, sitting down on John and stuff, I don't do that very often anymore. Maybe once a month or so, if there's any stuff that has been, can, been, um, passed in there at all. Or any, uh, I guess mucus and stuff build up in the lower half of that. So they disconnected the top of my stomach or or my large intestine coming from my stomach they disconnect that from my lower half and the lower half is also sticking out the back out in the bag so it can drain also because at one time it was majorly bloated and everything so I'm sure it has drained out and this has been let's see March so it's been about three months wearing this and take care of this and everything and as it's been taken care of now so the 31st of December I finally am released my body's in pain I'm hurting just got cut open and everything rerouted I'm able to eat and drink and and function so the 4th of January I call in to the corporate building of uh, where I used to work. Bad move decision, really, I think. You know, and asked him, hey, Kim, can I have a little more time off? You know, I'm going to need it for R&R &R and recovery. And unfortunately, you know, yeah, I can have time off. We'll, we just go ahead and let you go. So now I'm sitting here unemployed and with the colostomy bag and feeling real bad and everything. You now kind of upset. You now it got me to, I wouldn't say depressed, but I was pretty well upset about the whole situation. You know, and where, what, what I'm going to do now. So I took in a you know, unemployment. The unemployment started. And that wasn't done until somewhere around about mid January and February, somewhere in there, somewhere. Around about February, I finally started receiving unemployment. 
So financially, I'm okay. No, I'm not perfect, you know, I'd like to be working, I'd like to be making money I was. This money I was making was like $30 an hour. And I've worked 10 hours a day for all week. You know, five days a week, so around about good 50 hours a week. That's why I was gaining on. So my checks were pretty decent, you know. A little better than average, I would say, because not too many people get uh, $30 an hour. You know? And the job I did was basically driving a truck and operating a factor truck. What a factor truck is, it's the truck that has a vacuum system on it, and it could suck up any waste material, basically from um, industrial plants and stuff like that, coal plants. Uh, Let's see what else uh, from power plants that ran on on coal and stuff. It would could suck up any um, waste material they produced, and also any like for instance grain bins and stuff. It would suck out grain bins that had to be prepared for the next crop or whatever. And so, you know, it's just basically an industrial cleaning company. And I was their driver today can operate their trucks. And drive their trucks to the location of the job where the job was. But, you know, decently good job. And dirty at times. But hey, what job isn't dirty that pays a lot sometimes, you know, unless you know, you know, something good like a doctor or lawyer or something like that. You don't have to get your hands dirty or anything. But anyway, um, where I'm at now, well, we took and went the on the uh, the other day. What day was that? It's like the uh, it was Thursday for last or something like that. I what day it was? The March first, I guess. When in March first. And got a colonoscopy done. And through their finding, they found cells that could become cancer or worse, was cancerous. So that could be the main reason for the blockage and everything. Somewhere in my lower intestines, large intestine. And so, therefore, I could have a touch of cancer. At least that has not gone into my liver or anything. So that where it normally would have ventured into next. So it's on the sidewall or something, or it's on on the part of the uh, I forget what he called that. It's in the uh, intestine or intestine. And anyway. Now I went just the other day on Thursday. So last no, it was a, yeah, it was a Thursday of last week, which would have been oh, let's see what Thursday fourteenth, I guess it was. And so on Thursday, March fourteenth, we have decided what we're pretty much gonna do. I'll be receiving an operation on uh on April 2nd so April 2nd I will have an operation and they will take an, a, a section of my lower intestine out and then after that you see during the operation they may or may not take it's called a stoma that is produced that is created from extracting the intestine outside the body and creating a colostomy. So they're going to take this stoma and may possibly hook everything back up or they may just hook up the lower part of it and hook it back up to my system like it's supposed to be. Leave the top part or once they get in there and they may take and remove everything and put the stoma back together and connect the stomach back to 
stomach, the, the part of the lower intestine that's coming from the stomach and connect it back in line where it's supposed to be and connect the lower part back in where it's supposed to be and do away with the colostomy pack which would be better and I'll be back onto track of being in better health you know have my stomach and intestines and all that all reconnected so be better in that outlook way you know what I mean um I'll feel a whole lot better about that but then the issue is dealing with cancer and once they take and cut out everything that they think was cancerous in my colon you know in the upper colon it's not in the rectal part it's in the, in the actual um, intestinal area that runs alongside of the lower left side of the stomach or whatever it looks like I have changed the weather on this. Just give me a pause here. I'll to keep telling my story. I don't like having like bad weather. I'd like to have clear sky and change time of day. About 8 a.m. Well, anyway, with my story, um, they, they say there's a really good um, cancer group or... or place here where I live so I don't have to drive an hour out of town to go to them when I need to and everything but yeah just kind of keep your visitors you know up to date what's going on with my life and I've already told my family and everything and I find this information uh, you know interesting leave me a like and share and, and comment subscribe and I'll take and I'll tell you more as time goes by. I'll probably take and do a live from the hospital. Let you know how things are going. I don't know how I feel. I know I'm not going to feel all that great. Because being cut open and everything. It's not my idea of a fun time. I'm hurting and I have to do all the things like I do to recover. So after April 2nd, I don't expect to three videos come out that week or anything that has the uh, out of order or anything. It's gonna, if any, anything I put out, it's gonna be it's gonna be based on how I'm feeling, what's going on, and probably be a short three, four, five minute video update. So, it'll be shot probably from my telephone and everything. Because, you know, naturally you can't call my system into the into the hospital. I do have a laptop. Oh, so, I don't know if it's all equipped. I don't think it has a microphone. It might. So, yeah, this is going to be... It's been an ordeal. It's been... I had my mood go everywhere across the chart, you know. And playing this pretty much keeps my mind off things. And gives me something to do. Providing content for y'all. And I find this game interesting. I used to be a person who worked in the, mine, in the sand mine. And so this game here is interesting to me. I can drive these vehicles that, you know, I normally wouldn't drive at any other time you know my profession is basically a professional truck driver so I've driven all kinds of trucks being 18 wheelers I've driven a whole truck I've driven I had a couple hours on a excavator track hole a couple hours and been in mine for about a year no longer bearer you know, so in the years of, uh, this June of 2022 to, no, 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 go back. It was June of 2021 when I took and started driving down, I was like driving a, a, a truck, a semi, 
Holding sand to the mines, to the wells, sorry. From the mines to the wells. And they were fracking oil, which is a very interesting process. And there's a lot of controversy over, you know, whether it's good environmentally and beneficial and stuff. And just to fracking increases the output of the well and stuff like that and uh, lengthens the life of the well. And so anyway, um, did that until like July of, let's see, when I know, March, let's see, I think I'm thinking, so like March of 2022, I guess. And then from March of 22 till basically almost March of 2023, took in a, I was driving a haul truck down in the mine. And things change and actually did a, bumped into a pole or whatever and that terminated my job, unfortunately. So then after that, See what happened. We ended up moving back from Texas back to my current location. It's here in Illinois. I guess that's you know that's too not too private. And uh, so therefore moved here and moved back to the original house, which I moved away from in the first place. We didn't have to rent or buy anything. House was already paid for, which is makes it makes it really good. Cars paid off. Car house paid off. I have no outstanding loans or credit cards. So I'm in a pretty good financial place where I don't have to pay for a lot of that. Take off a little more of this dirt. I don't need this dirt. That was about getting full. Okay, so anyway. So here I sit doing these videos and everything. Uh, my hope is to become monetized and start making, keep making this great content for you. I may change Ronda. I may change games when I get tired of this game. And it all depends, you know, where does the game game go? What are the developers going to do with this game? Are they going to leave it in the form that it is now? I hear that they're going to take put out new generation um, vehicles, which is these vehicles made better so I don't know we'll see and so if they make these vi these tractors better and they add features they're not supposed to add features of uh, decorations get a deco pack out you may have seen it on split and tube um, Feed is another YouTuber out there that he is working, not working for or with or anything, but he's, he, uh, his test, uh, test about, test, I don't know, for sure. He tests the game for a beta tester or something. And so he has the privilege of getting to test out the deco pack and he'll probably be the first one to use the new generation vehicles and stuff like that. Or they may take and release the new generation vehicles out to the public and everyone so everybody gets to use them. I don't know for sure what the developers can do first or, the, or whoever. Not in really contact with them, but you know, I see on his channel how nice his, you know, mine looks. He has all the decorations and stuff. And his goal is to take and build a dam of some sort and he has a deck go pack so that he can take him and make his game look nice make his uh, game setup look nice so eventually that would be the ability of all of us uh, gamers and stuff which would be nice I'd like to have a deco pack and not all that you know I like to have a new generation uh, vehicles when they come out they have to take them buy them I don't know be the next Maybe next update, who knows? I'll release them as they get them completed. So here's the first uh, auto save. 
but I can't do much when I was auto saving. So let that save a minute. Ready. It's done an auto saving. Give me a moment here. Get my fingers back where it belongs. Oh yeah, I didn't get a chance to empty that. Sorry about that. I got the hunk of dirt there starting to build up. I have to remove from here so I can have better access. For some reason this game is playing slow. Like a little bit of lag, and I really don't got anything going on in my system. I just got my video editing software. Get that file dirt out of there. Okay, that's done. I can't wait until all the new changes and everything make gameplay, you know, at least a visual aspect of the game. Look a lot better. I do think we need to have more buildings and stuff in the game. So that'd be part of a deco pack. Oops, almost fell off the side there. Not intended there. Well, that's my story for right now. That's what's going on for me. So what I might do is, you know, make some content showing and explaining all that I don't know if I want to go that that personal into it I don't know showing images and what's what everything all looks like and everything I don't know how well that be received and stuff because I'm sure not too many want, people want to take them see what you know my Awesome and all that looks like and everything. Have it labeled, you know, as such, so attract a different crowd and stuff. I can think, you know, people who just going through this ordeal, how how much more helpful it can be, you know, for them. I don't know. some people can relate to a story you know maybe they you know seen a friend or something like that that uh, had to go through this and they can relate you know I'm going through it and it's okay and the song you know you have to check out my bird song it's okay I'm not going to sing that, I don't want to take it. get any kind of YouTube hit on that, but anyhow. Check it out on YouTube, it's out there somewhere, just type in uh, Nightbird, it's okay. And I use that as a motivation, kind of like a lift, you know. All the things that she went through, she went through the answer deal and unfortunately she didn't make it. She has passed. She was featured on uh, America's Got Talent and stuff with her song. But, you know, it gives me inspiration that, you know, no matter what I'm going through, it's going to be okay either way. And I got family. I got, I got a wife that is just my rock. She is... It's just awesome. It's kind of keeping me all together and everything. And took him, took him at her, oh, let's see, 29 years ago, almost 30 years ago. April will be April 20. Ninth will be, let's see, like almost my 29th uh, anniversary being married. So, 
Yeah, we've been around together for quite a few years. And it's to the point that sometimes we don't even have to talk. We just gotta think something and become thought and thought, you know, gets conveyed to her. Like for instance, the other day, she asked, what would you like to have for supper? Or what would you like for me to get to the store for supper? She was going to get food supplies and stuff. And I told her, you know, come here and sit down. And she can just quiet in her mind and just kind of listen. And I was thinking tacos and I was taking visualizing a, a hard shell taco. And I asked her, you know, what did she hear? What did she you see in her mind and she said she well, she has said tacos and I says I that's right you know so the power of the mind is you know crazy you know once you you can they can be able to talk to somebody without even you know saying anything and a true story you know not saying that I have special, you know, abilities or anything. We just know each other. Once you've been with somebody for so many years, you know, you just pick up on each other's thoughts, feelings, and intuition and stuff like that. Well, it's crazy how that works, you know. Well, that's, you know, pretty cool and everything. I'm getting through this with, uh, you know, day by day, one day at a time. I'm just kind of running out of things to talk about. But leave me, you know, comments, likes, subscribe, subscribe to the to the video, you know, because you know, in doing so, you know, it helps me out. Tells me what you want to see and hear. You know, because keep in tune, you know. I'm gonna. They can tell more about what happens in my life and stuff. What has happened. Not to mention, you know, I'm a father too. I have four children. Stuff like that. The oldest is now going on 25. The next one is like 22 or 3. Not, you know, he's going to be 23, something like that. Um. Next one is 17, and another one after that is 10 years old. We should turn 10 this year. Um, yeah, all my kids' birthdays are over for the year, almost. One that's born on 4.30 of uh, the April 30th of, oh, I forget, 99, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm telling my age without telling my age, right? I've been around computers for ages, it feels like. I was 13 when I first got my first computer from Radio Shack. That's a TR-80 color computer. And I sat down for hours and hours just playing it and had taken a program anything you put into that TR City you had taken actually program into it from a book and learn how to do that. So I just learn basic for that computer. So that started me on a programming path line. You know. Learn how to program simple programs early. Um, programming is just basically my hobby now. It's not anything to do as a job professionally. Well, I understand, you know, 
applications and application development and how it can take a long time and the different pitfalls you have to go through and all the hoops you have to go through just to program is not it's not all that easy it is easy but it's not time consuming that's for sure trying to figure out how um, he's thinking of something to write and then actually writing it debugging it making it work the way you want it to Oh yeah, I've been through the different, different ways of, you know, different, different things of programming, stuff like that. I actually went and finally got a de degree in programming, a social degree at a community college. And I went, you know, at one time to take, go use my programming stuff programming knowledge and all they gave me was a IT job and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna fall fat again. How about that? I put some kind of barrier there and burn but wouldn't be a bad idea if I'm gonna end up taking this out. My fence railing. Oh I run over that put a fence. Fence railing. That's okay, as long as it isn't no. Turn my truck over too far. Let's try and get it out to that line right there. This all cut back. All I gotta do is take off this top birding hair. Then I'll be able to expand the lower half of my mine out to here. Been 42 minutes. But if you will, I'll take a look at the uh, four minute video and kind of let me know your which video by the top left, top right, or bottom. Up video or bottom left screen part that screen know which one which one looks better on your monitor or get varied answers from everybody or even if they just look the same I'm just looking at the quality is what I'm looking at and the video title is which one looks better just kind of give that a view it's in the playlist and the idea of which uh, recording screen looks a lot better. And so it's kind of digging out here. Today is the 317 at 549. That's St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? Look at that. I think it is. Y'all better be wearing green or you might get pinched. There might be a St. Patrick's Day parade in your area. Happy St. Patrick's Day, oh boy. No, 
I'm not too big on holidays or anything. My biggest holidays is Christmas and 4th of July. As I say, last group, I'm so sure it was a bummer. I would not wish that on nobody. has a sense of humor. He knows how to humble you real, real quick. Yeah. Let me see what am I going to do. Take this off here. I think I need to go get a drink fast. Quick drink, quick uh, break here. Like that, okay. And you'll never really see it, but I'm gonna put this on pause and taking a go get a drink.